Muhammad ibn Sirin, he once bought a large amount of honey, and he bought it on a large earthen jar. This jar, in ancient times, may be able to accommodate around 200 kg up to 250 kg of honey. When he bought it, he put it on that jar, but apparently at night, he forgot to close the lid. Then entered the rat, and this large amount of honey was taken right before due. Muhammad ibn Sirin forgot to close the lid, then entered the rat. When he woke up in the morning, he saw the dead rat inside the jar. It couldn't get out. It stuck. Muhammad ibn Sirin rahimahullah took the honey and threw it all the way. He deliberately searched for the river and threw it all. He doesn't throw it away carelessly. He intentionally threw it into the river so that it flowed. People came to him. Oh, Muhammad ibn Sirin, you just need to get rid of that rat and sell the remaining honey. Why does all of it have to be thrown away? What was his answer? By Allah, my brother, I don't know which drops was exposed to bacteria. Which drops was exposed to the filth for me to sell it to someone and cheat him. So I better lose it all rather than being humiliated by Allah on the day of judgment. How great his iman is. He threw it all. He flowed it all. The story continues, subhanAllah. The owner of honey came to collect the money. Sometime later, O oh, Ibn Sirin, pay your bill. Ibn Sirin said, I don't have any money yet. He said, Okay, so how do we settle this? Ibn Sirin said, Give me some time, I will pay. Okay, he gave him some time. The time went by, and yet Ibn Sirin did not have any money by Allah's wisdom. The owner of honey finally complained to the judge. The judge called him. Muhammad ibn Sirin was a great scholar. He was honored. In the court, the judge said, Oh, ibn Sirin, what's your case? He replied, The law is in your hand. This is the story, and I don't have anything yet. The judge said, Then you will be imprisoned. Ibn Sirin said, Do it. Ibn Sirin was imprisoned until someone paid down his debt. Subhanallah. The prison guard knew who Ibn Sirin was. He is a great scholar. The girl said, Oh, Ibn Sirin, you can go home and sleep with your family at night. Come back here in the morning. What if we were offered with such an offer? The prison guard said, You can go home at night and come back here in the morning. Just like that repeatedly. Ibn Sirin said, Wallahi, while holding the prison's cage, Wallahi, my brother, I won't help you go to hellfire. I will stay here until my debt is paid. He didn't want to leave. He read the Quran. He prayed at night. Until finally, people all over Baghdad came to pay his debt. The debt was paid. They paid down his debt until they get him out of prison. They know how his relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a precious thing, my brothers and sisters. Very precious. It can only be attained by those who are pure in soul, clean in heart, who want to connect with their Lord. And Allah Azza wa Jalla, if He gives, the Quran always says, بِغَيْرِ hisab. إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّصَّ بِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ hisab. There's always بِغَيْرِ hisab. بِغَيْرِ hisab. بِغَيْرِ hisab means without account. If we ask Allah for one thing, Allah doesn't give you one, but ten, a hundred, a hundred thousand. It's incredible.